This is going to be a demonstration of using the menu builder. If you've used Final Web for a long time, you remember that we upgraded the menu builder just a few months ago, and the functionality has improved greatly, and it's also fun to use because it's drag and drop, so you're dragging elements where you want them and creating things right there in the menu. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. On this sample site, I have two top menu options right here, Home and Ministries, and I like to add some more and add some other hierarchical menu structure underneath of those. So I'm going to click the edit menu button to bring up the editor. My two menu options that I currently have are listed here, home and ministries. And then down below I have a lot of different types of content that I can choose from. So just by way of example I'm going to put up the audio downloads page. I'd like to link to that in my top menu but I'm going to change the title from audio video downloads to sermons and then save. So I have a link to the sermons to the audio video downloads page which will be the sermons page. That's what I titled it. Another thing that I can do is add hierarchy to this top menu. So I have this ministries link, but I have several ministries that I'd like to include inside of this. So I want to hover over it and then have these different ministries drop down. So if I double click this, I'm brought up with another area to drag submenu items. So I want to add more content in this case, I'm going to create some new pages. So I'm just going to go down here and do a new text page because that's all this is going to be. So I'm going to drag a new text page right in here. And I'm going to call this one Children. Save it. And then I'm going to add another one just the same way. Text page. I'll name this one Adult Ministries. And then one more, we'll do outreach. And then when I go visit those pages, these links that I've created, I'll be prompted to add the text to those pages. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Let's say one of these I wanted to delete. So, you know, maybe this uh, sermons link, I ended up deciding I really didn't want it. What I can do here is just click that X right there that's right beside the sermon's title and delete, or I can just drag the whole thing into the trash can and it'll just remove it for me. So it's gone. Sometimes you might want to add a custom link, like a link that will go to an external page. You can do that over here in headers slash other. I've got an external link option. So if I bring this up here, I can create a link to another page. So I'm going to call this Google search. Google, and then the URL is google.com. Save that. And then I have a link to Google right there. This could be to a map or some other ministry that you want to highlight. And then as you see here, there are a lot of other different types of content that you can add. So the more content is going to give you a list of the basic pages that you have available to choose from. Dynamic pages are a list of your dynamic pages. You can create more there. Static pages are static pages you've created. Forms that you've made, blogs, forms, subsites, and then headers and other are division header or sub menu header, things like that that you can create. So there's a lot of options of types of content that you can add to this menu in the menu builder. I'm going to save the menu and then go to one of these ministry pages. Now as I hover over ministries, you see these three pages that I made. I'm going to click on children and and right away I'm taken to a screen where I can add the content. This is just the content options for a text page. I'm going to choose no image and then add my content here. Just do test so you can see what it looks like. And that's all I have to do to create a page. I hope this is helpful. You can build very robust menus with this, very professional looking menus that have a lot of functionality. Please contact us if you have any other questions. Please contact our support team if you have any questions.